Welcome back to Clay Pigeon for part two of the action from round seven of the UK Kart Series, incorporating the final round of the British Pro Kart Championships for senior drivers. Pro, elite and club and drivers mixed on one grid today. We're on the formation lap for the last heat of the day in this class. It's heat three of three, which will help to decide the grid positions coming up for the final later in the programme. Here's my colleague Jake Sanson with the grid positions for this one, with several drivers in contention to win this inaugural British Sprint Series Championship at this final round for them. I love a good showdown. Aaron Alexander versus Sam Spinnell, and they're going off P1 and P3 of the grid. Charlie Bingham on the front row beside Alexander, Maximus Shields on the second row beside Spinnell. Then Austin Monday and Bryn Calder, Gareth Plackett and Callum Booth. John Hogan is rounding out the top 10 alongside Ronnie Rowe. Then Aaron Lord is beside Mick Lord. Joe Hatton and Steve Nichols on row seven. Connor McCarthy on row eight alongside Carl Ruddock. And then Ben Morby beside Paul Turland with Alfie Wilkes in 19th alongside Jasmine Kaplan to round out the top 20. Still a very competitive grid all the way down. James Drabwell 21st, Josh Nye in 22nd. Then Scary, Morgan, Dunbobbin, Rowe, Alain, Fabian, Wormsley and Paul McNeil. 30 carts, and it's going to be a very intense race around Clay Pigeon at the best of times. It can get ruthless, so let's go racing. Up to the first corner, Aaron Alexander getting a good start, but has been beaten round the outside by the fast starting Charlie Bingham as two carts have gone around early doors. That is a very unfortunate start for the 77. Jasmine Kaplan, who spins twice because she recovered and then went on the grass as well. And I think that was Josh Nye going with. Oh no! Contact Sam Spinnell! Spinnell's gone colliding with Aaron Alexander! The championship contenders have gone into each other and hands hairpin. It's Hamilton and Verstappen all over again. Incredible. We've decided that we've got extra time in the programme, so we're covering this final heat of the weekend, and we've got drama amongst the championship contenders already incredible. I cannot believe it's come down to a collision between the top two drivers in the championship on the opening lap of the final heat. Unbelievable. So that's Charlie Bingham now leading the way. Maximus Shields in second. Monday is third. Calder is fourth from Gareth Blacken and Callum Booth. Aaron Alexander down to P7. Sam Spinnell down to P11. Well, Spinnell's going to have some work to do here. Oh, we've got to run wide for fourth position. Sorry, call the Blacken and Booth are dripping in it. And this could be exactly what Aaron Alexander needs to gain a little bit of momentum. I think he's splitting up the middle of them. Yes, he has. That's P5. So he's driving with the red mist. Now he's going to try and take on Bryn Calder for P4. This is a great comeback for Aaron Alexander. And he needs to because he looks over his shoulder. Not at the two carts behind him, but the man behind them, Sam Spinnell. Well, we d again, we don't have the exact championship points at this stage, but it's close as he loses another place. Aaron Alexander drops down one. Yeah, it's Plackett. Gareth Plackett was able to get him on the way through the chicane. This is not what Aaron Alexander needs to become British senior sprint champion. And they're running side by side again, tripping over each other as Aaron Alexander tries to pick up the pieces. One more time, he gets there, but at the expense of Gareth Plackett, Blackett manages to come back at him. So this is getting feisty and a little bit more ruthless than usual. Oh no, that's Alexander, he's well gone. So it's Spinnell. Spinnell is wrestling past every cart he comes near to try and get through. Meanwhile, we've got Bingham versus Shields. They're having a quiet and casual race up at the front by comparison. Then Monday and Calder. Calder having just got through into third place. There's Aaron Alexander, fastest lap of the race as well, 38-9, to try and catch up into fifth. And then it's Sam Spinnell. He's got ahead of Plackett. So the, the championship protagonists and the championship offenders, because they've ended up tagging into each other on the opening lap, are now P5 and P6 again. Oh, yeah. pinch me. This is getting good. Cracking racing. And don't forget, this is just heat three. We've got the final coming up later in the programme. So now would not be a good time to uh, go out and do some shopping. You oh, want to stay with this. Did you see the power slide from Maximus Shields trying to hold it on the exit of Billy's Blind? That was more rally cross than it was karting. He was in proper Petter Solberg swing as he went through. There is Sam Spinnell ahead of Plackett, Hogan, and then we've got this long train, which is Ruddock, Nichols, McCarthy, Hatton, the Lords, Morby, Drabwell and Wilkes. It's getting very tight in the mix of all of that. But the big story is Aaron Alexander and Sam Spinnell tangling on the opening lap, then having to fight their way through the field like Sly Stallone and Kip Bardew in Driven. And they are absolutely charging their way back into contention. And now look, they are almost nose to tail because Aaron Alexander has managed to get ahead of Austin Monday, but he needs to stay one cart ahead of Spinnell. I wouldn't want to go another two or three rounds with him. Now, Alexander was on pole position for this third heat but it's going to be all down to the final. Oh, we've, be had, with... we've had a spinner, sorry. Yeah, I hate to cut you off there, Alan, but we've lost somebody in the middle of the field there, so that could end up being 
another big problem. We obviously had Kaplan and Wormsley colliding on the first lap. And then, of course, Alexander and Spinel, they have managed to keep going, but a spinner at the back, that's going to drop somebody right down to the tail. Yeah, the result of the final coming up later in the programme will pretty much determine, or could determine at least, the championship at the end of that final. But this, at the moment, Aaron Alexander in fourth place and setting the fastest lap now. A couple of places over Sam Spinnell. They could be handy points to have. It was Alfie Wilkes who dropped it in the hairpin there, unfortunately. So big disappointment for Alfie Wilkes. He was in that battle for uh, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh. He was in that gaggle of cards. So a very tricky situation to be in. It was always inevitable, really, that somebody was going to get spat out. Here's Joe Hatton in the purple and black machine, trying to stay in front of the pink and white of Aaron Lord, managing to hold on to it for the time being. But a very close fought duel this is turning into. And don't forget that we've got a sprint championship on the line as the two men up front in fourth and sixth, Aaron Alexander and Sam Spinnell, are racing to make up for lost time. There is Sam Spinnell chasing down Austin Monday in the same way that Aaron Alexander did just a couple of laps ago. But this is the battle for the lead. Charlie Bingham versus Maximus Shields. This is an opportunity that they will absolutely take advantage of. No doubt about it. Sam Spinnell set the fastest lap, by the way, at the end of the last tour. I think he set the fastest lap the lap before as well, so Spinnell trying to get back into it, but he's got uh, some time to make up on the only man in the field, let's be honest, that he wants to finish in front of, and that's the man two places in front of him at the moment, Aaron Alexander, but I think Alexander is just too far clear of him. We're in a Noah's Ark race, aren't we? We've got two by two, hurrah. We've got Bingham versus Shields for the lead. We've got Calder versus Alexander for third. We've got Monday versus Spinnell for fifth, and I think actually that was Aaron Alexander now having got ahead, yes it is, so he's got ahead of Bryn Calder for third position. Even more important then for Sam Spinnell to get ahead of Austin Monday for at least fifth position. Yeah, it is now. Spinnell's not going to be enjoying this. He doesn't want to see Aaron Alexander making up places in front of him. He's he got him. It. He, he has got him, so that's good for fifth position. Yeah, so still two places between them. And uh, again... Looks like this is going to all come down to what happens in the final coming up later in the show. You get 30 carts on the grid, by the way, Jake. You only just fit the names in on screen, by the way. And on a 900-metre circuit like this, with all the twists and turns, lots of overtaking opportunities, you always see action here at Clay Pigeon. Well, based on what we've seen so far, it's not going to be Aaron Alexander versus Sam Spinner. It's going to be Apollo Creed versus Rocky Balboa, isn't it? They've already drawn their swords in the first lap of the heat. And uh, now they're going to have to go at it again in the final when they're probably going to be around the same sort of positions on the grid. That's going to be a very tasty contest. Last lap and Charlie Bingham hanging on in front of Maximus Shields. But this is going to be a nail biter all the way to the death of the final later. Has Maximus Shields got one final trick up his sleeve to grab a heat victory off Charlie Bingham? Of course, it's high risk to go for a move like this into the heat. You don't want to compromise your starting position for the final. If you have to take a second place now, you may as well, because the big guns are going to need to come out for the final later. So Charlie Bingham is going to hang on for the victory in front of Maximus Shields. Great battle all the way to the line. No need to celebrate. It's a heat victory, but the big show is coming later. Alexander third, Calder fourth, Sam Spinnell, a very unhappy fifth position. That's just turned the dial up to 11 for the intensity of this championship showdown. Three different classes on track, by the way. We've got Pro Kart Elite, where the drivers have uh, pooled engines. They have to draw for the engines they take. You've got Pro Kart uh, Pro and then Pro Kart Clubman. All very complicated, but it all work out in the wash. A very tough senior Pro Kart heat. Charlie Bingham getting the win over Maximus Shields by less than a tenth. Bryn Calder in P3. Austin Monday in fourth position. Aaron Alexander and Sam Spinnell both losing four places from their starting position after their contact. Gareth Blackett splits them for P6. John Hogan in eighth. Carl Ruddock made up six places for ninth. Connor McCarthy made up four for tenth. In Clubman, Steve Nichols got the win ahead of Paul Turland. Ryan Scary in third ahead of Josh Nye. Then Leo Morgan, Jack Dunbobbin and Durban Aylen. And then Jasmine Kaplan, despite her spin, came back to eighth position ahead of Chris Fabian and Joe Walmsley. The final is going to be epic later.